Yeah, when I met him, I thought he was like, like okay, he likes kids. That was my first impression. <laughs> um, my favorite thing about Sherwin would be his calmness. It's like no matter how much I'm like screaming in the background, he has this calm face, which I automatically know, okay, I should stop screaming. <laughs> so that's the most amazing thing about him. And I never want to She's like the person you can talk le about like anything to. Sherwin is like me only annoying, but he is also like when it comes to Skito, he is very caring and all, and he like very understanding. Yeah, that's it. Very, very, very patient with Skito. And Skito is also very patient with him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so so Okay, what was your first impression of Skeeter? Just full of enthusiasm, full of energy. Kept everything going, kept the family intact, improved bonds and all with Skeeter. I think they bring out the best in each other, like both of them. Yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted to see. <laughs> Since he was the first child, uh, he was uh, pampered a lot and uh, he became very possessive uh, over both of us and we also were very possessive over him. Uh, I remember one incident uh, with her. He was so possessive about us that um, one day when he was young, uh, her cousin uh, hugged her and tried to kiss her and things like that. And Sherwin was close by, and uh, he said, like, he said, he was, he was he a said child, I you love know? your mama. He says, No, and he gave him a, such a hard step till now he remembers a resounding one. So he, he never liked to part uh, his parents with anybody. Even when we are dancing, he never wanted us to hold one another. He would want to be in the middle of us and stop us from dancing. He wanted to be the center of attraction, in short, everywhere. <laughs> We didn't allow him to do naughty things. <laughs> we were all the time keeping a watch on him. We were always, uh, he was always on their, his guard, uh, always thinking that parents will be uh, watching and uh, looking at what he does and what he doesn't do. So that way, <laughs> he has not been a naughty child and he has not got an opportunity to be naughty. To be naughty. I don't know, maybe behind our backs he must have done many things. <laughs> at least, at least face uh, he must have, he has not shown. I, I don't know about those things. <laughs> Dude, kind of a girl, you give me all that. Ah. Dude, you're not a one like those type, but she was very open. 
very loving very caring <laughs> didn't expect her to be like that but yeah she was beyond expectations <laughs> i should say my favorite thing about skitter there are a lot of things i like the way she bakes i like the way she keeps up to everybody's expectations i like the way she is with everybody the way she bonds with everybody there are a lot of things i cannot name everything but yeah she's miss perfection well excited more than excited i'm <laughs> hyperactive right now i'm looking forward for the big day i want her to have the day of her life yeah no i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the man we think alike maybe i would say something i cannot describe but she already says it and that was in my mind that's the way how we work like i mean i want to say something but she's already said it like i didn't know how to say it but she already said it we almost have similar mentality like our ideas are almost the same whatever she imagines i can picture like i can literally draw it like even if she says this is in my mind i want to do this this is in the room i will actually draw it and i'll be like oh she how do you know she'll be like like that why <laughs> There's no question why. What is not there to love about her? If anybody else, other than me, it would have been like that only. She's a like perfect daughter-in-law, perfect daughter, perfect wife. Everything perfect. Everything about her is perfect. There's nothing not to love about her. But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door But I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 first date our first date was um was actually in a car basically on the new years when he came to meet me on the 1st of jan we were looking for for a breakfast or something like that and we decided we'll go to chocolate room but the chocolate room in margaon was closed so he's like okay there's one in panjim let's go to panjim and on the way we called up chocolate room and chocolate room was closed and then we came back and we said okay maybe the margaon is open now so because it was like really early in the morning so we went all the way back from panjim to margaon went from margaon to vasco back to margaon then to panjim and then when we on the way to margaon it was like a traffic jam and like we were just stuck in the car that was my first date was in the car basically <laughs> talking and asking each other questions and stuff like that so we, the 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 date was deciding where to go to eat <laughs> basically so yeah that was our first date we can say in the car with you in i know we've got our whole lives no ending this inside darling all i want to do be with you tonight yeah 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 be with you tonight yeah 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 be with you tonight we're not in a rush we're not gonna leave but i can't get enough of what you do to me we're not in a rush we're not gonna leave but i can't get enough of what you do to me and i know we've got our whole lives no ending this inside darling all i want to do is be with you and i know we got our whole lives no ending this inside darling all i want to do is be with you tonight
first met him he like took me out for lunch and he took me out actually to get a gift for skitter's birthday and um, he went like from panjim to margaon to i don't know where where just to find the perfect gift for her so like my first impression about him was like okay this guy is going to be very good for my sister so i know that <laughs> she knows how much i'm going to miss her and i tell her that every night for the past i don't know how many weeks she was she's very close to me and like i tell her everything so i'm going to kind of miss her being there with me constantly so that i'm just going to miss her a lot like i have a lot of memories like she um stayed up with me like for a lot of stuff and she's done things with me she's always been there like through my assignments to whatever i needed she was always there um yeah used to always there was this time when we used to watch like a lot of romantic movies like and we used to just sit there crying and wondering when our right, right people will come so yeah so i know that she's found her right, right person right now and i'm very very happy for her wish for you My daughter Skitter, she's beautiful, she's charming, most understanding, and most loving. This goes without saying, but that life is, or the love is immeasurable. But I cannot tell you how much I'll miss her. I'll miss her more than anything in the world. Often she is very naughty and messy. She does not know where she keeps her clothes, but she is one of the most beautiful child I've ever had in my life. Seven is a fine gentleman, patient, understanding. I know, I'm sure that he will be a perfect husband for for my daughter. Our expectation would be that she would gel in the family and uh, be supportive. Uh, definitely, seen that she would be a good wife, loving wife, caring wife, understanding. and ensure that the family grows together i think she knows our responsibilities towards serving towards shanoy and towards us and i see her as a daughter <laughs> not as a daughter in law <laughs> because after two sons i expected one uh, the the two daughters to come in so the first one is coming in the next one will come in later but this one is the first one so she should be the Uh, showing us, show the other one the way. Wear the shoes of a daughter-in-law as well as a daughter, a sister. She should be a, a good wife, a good sister, and a loving daughter to us. We don't see her as an in-law. Also, would love to see them growing in love, uh, understanding one another, and living a happy life. In fact, they are young, just like us. We got married young, and we have got to see them. uh see the couple they and them getting married i would also wish that for them so that they can see their children and we also live to see them <laughs> completing 25 years because they got engaged when we uh, we completed 25 years so by then we will be completing 50 and they will be completing 25 and that will be our greatest happiness